right, so I've been wanting to do this video for a while now because I always get kind of like people, or I do mentorships with people and they, they see forestry films, they see us in our work and like, man, like, how did you guys get there? And it just seems so effortless how you guys made this big brand. And I wish you could have seen me like five or six years ago, almost wanting to quit. Like, it, this, is, this is hard and I think so many people think that or kind of in this Instagram culture that we live in, you see someone's page, they have 30,000 followers, 100,000 followers, and you're like, man, they've always been successful. They just came out of the womb with a camera and a Visco preset, and it's like, boom, and it looks amazing. And then they got all these followers overnight. But it's not the case. Like people, I think this is one of the biggest mistakes in business that people think all the successful businesses they see are overnight success. Like they'll point to, oh yeah, when they got on the news, then their business exploded, or when they came out with this one product, then they were super, super successful. And I think that's one of the biggest myths people believe about business because it's that's not how it works. Like what you don't see is all the 10 million hours of work of preparation for that you know, one new spot to happen in that company's life and then it all to kind of blow up from there. Like people think about Apple and they think, oh, as soon as Steve Jobs came out with the iPhone, then Apple really, really exploded. exploded. But what a lot of people don't know about Steve is he had so many failures up to that point. I mean, he tried product after product. He got kicked out of Apple. He, it, it it looked like an overnight success, but it wasn't. And that's what I really want to encourage you guys with, with wedding filmmaking. Like if you're feeling like, oh man, I've been doing this two years and I just can't get bookings and I see all these people with so many inquiries, do not get discouraged. Keep on going. We've been at this for 10 years doing this and we're barely just starting to see the fruit. And I'll get people coming to me and be like, well, Forestry Films is expanding like crazy and look at how many YouTube subscribers you have and how many inquiries you're getting. And like, what have you, what's your secret? What's your marketing secret? Did you advertise on Facebook? Did you do this you know, crazy marketing trick? And no, it was just hard work. And one of the things that I like to tell people is kind of like my formula for success, if you would, it's you take discipline multiplied by consistency and multiply that by time and then you get success. You just have to do something over, it's kind of like going to the gym. You know, you see those guys who are really buff, they've probably been at it for five years, six years, just fine tuning things. And that's what it's like in wedding filmmaking. Like, so I want, I want to share with you my story a little bit so you can kind of see where I'm coming from. So I might kind of have it outlined here. So the first, the first wedding I did was in high school. And I remember some buddy from my church just said, hey, can you haul around my bags for $100 an hour? I'm like, sure, like no problem. I started as like a just grunt assistant. And then my first wedding I ever shot was for $600 and it was so bad. Like it was just the worst wedding film ever. I just got in a monopod and it had like a little pan tilt thing and all my shots had this sweeping pan tilt movement. And it was just so bad, $600 for a wedding. And then, you know, after that gradually over 10 years of consistent, like Monday through Friday, 40 hours plus a week putting into the business, then it slowly started to grow. So really my encouragement to you is kind of a reality check that it's a process to not get discouraged that you're not where you want to be. Just keep working at it and just keep focusing on serving couples to the most of your ability to view each wedding as if it's your last and serve the next couple that you're shooting their wedding like they're a family member, like you want to just give them the most precious gift ever. Because if you do that consistently over time, you will have success. You will be able to form this into a business. But do not get discouraged if you've been at this for three years and you're still not there. Look at the long game and look at, look at us. It took us 10 years to build this and we're still going. So I really hope that's encouraging for you guys. That was the main reason I wanted to make this video is just just really to encourage you, 
that it is possible. And in the comments below, let me know your struggles. Like this, I wanna be really open on YouTube with helping you guys. So in the comments below, let me know what you're struggling with. I'll try my absolute best to answer every single comment and try to help you guys, because that's, that's what this is all about. All right, well, I hope you have a great rest of the day and keep on fighting, keep on pushing, and crush it at your next wedding.